In the previous tutorial, I created this chart, but we can see there's problems with it. We have um, the year of survey labels are completely inadequate, plus the proportion looks bizarre. You have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, like that, so it looks like it's not changing at all. Um, if, if you get numbers that are the same here along the, along the y-axis, what you want to do, in this case, remember our y-axis variable is the attend3 variable. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to have that variable show the decimal place. So I go back to variable view and, and increase the number of decimals there. And then I can go back to the chart builder. And as long as you just, if you just did the chart, it's going to keep all the settings. So um, it will be easy to go back into the chart builder and modify some things. Um, here we had problems with the Y scale and the X, and the X scale. Remember, I should point out just um, as I'm doing this, before I, I do the specifics, that most researchers, when they're creating charts, tables, um, they do these things you know, many times. and it's a really uh, not a linear process where you can just go through a set of steps, get the chart, and then you're done. It's much, much more likely that you get a chart, you look at it, you find problems with it, and you redo it. And so um, it shouldn't be a matter of frustration to you that you, know, you have to do that. It, it can be irritating at times, but you should just know that's sort of part of the research process. Um, the word research really is, is apt because it's... Um, Re, the re implies the, 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 the fact that you have to go back and, and redo things. And uh, that's just, that's what research is, is often all about. So if I look at the x-axis, um, I really want to change the increment here. I'm going to, I can put it uh, every four years. Before it was just showing me two. That's sort of a problem. And I'll apply that. In the y-axis, I'm going to put the minimum as 0 and the maximum as 1, because this is a proportion, of course, varies between 0 and 1. I can also choose the major increment. increment. Um, I'll choose point, point 0.05. But again, of course, that might be a problem. We'll just have to see what it looks like. Now I'm going to try this again and see how well it shows up. So now we're getting um, a somewhat more intelligible chart. The years are showing up um, they're fairly, fairly well. The proportions are showing up. The only problem is it goes to 110, 1.1, which is, of course, 110% doesn't make any sense. Um, so then I would go back to the graph again, and I'm going to try to make sure that the y-axis Sometimes this doesn't agree very well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the major imp imp increment rather to 0.1 and see how that works. It's still giving me that 1.1 there. Um, your guess is as good as mine as to how you can get that to change. I can just... Sometimes it doesn't agree with you very well. Um, but at, at the very least here, we have a chart that ranges from 0 to 1 on the y-axis and 1972 to 2008 the x. So you have those extra 10%, which is uh, rather annoying because it's not listening to me. Um, but in general, you want to pay attention to the axes and the scales. Um, this is you know, where you get the idea of lying with statistics, you know, because if I, if I went back here and, you know, let's say, just to go back for a second, if I wanted to say that there's been a lot of change in church attendance, well, what could I do? I could go back to this chart builder and go to the y-axis, and I could change the minimum to, say, 0.15 and the maximum to 0.4, and the increment to 0.05, and I apply that, click OK, and now, oh wow, it looks like it's all over the, it's just a lot of change, and it looks like it's declined. But then, 
you look at the proportion and it looks, well, it hasn't changed that much. Now that doesn't mean that your proportions always have to be 0 to, to 1, but you do want to you know, strive to tell a um, reasonable story and you know, this is probably a better chart despite the 1.1 1. 1 up here because really um, you have to remember when looking at social change, okay, we're not going to expect that this percentage figure is going to be the same every year, okay? It's just, it's just not. So you have to keep that in mind that if there's going to be some fluctuation and you don't want just trendless fluctuation just sort of bouncing around to look like dramatic uh, differences, okay? And it really, there really hasn't been that much dramatic difference. The population hasn't all of a sudden become non-religious um, so it makes this chart rel probably um, really gives you a better a better sense of what's going on. The other thing to note is um, when you create charts, one thing you can do is and I'm just going to close the output and go back into the chart builder. One thing that you can do um, to save time is that after you have set up your chart with with everything you need that you want instead of just clicking OK, you can click Paste. And what that will do is, it should do anyway, in this case for some reason it didn't, but we're going to try that again. If you click on Paste, there it is, it, it did it, I just didn't notice. Then what happens is, SPSS, instead of running the command, it will just um, output all of the syntax that you need to create that chart. Okay? And that means you don't actually have to save the chart itself. You can just save the syntax. Now this syntax looks like a lot of, you know, uh, gobbledygook, but in fact, if I just highlight this from beginning to end and I run it, I get the chart. Okay? And if you notice even though a lot of it looks like garbage or gobbledygook, you can go in and change, you know, things that make sense, like here you can see um, this is the title, um, we can see this is the uh, label for the y-axis, that's the label for the x-axis. So in other words, the point of this is if you want, if you think you're going to have to make changes um, to, the t to the chart or uh, to a table, you might want, uh, to, but specifically in this case a chart, you might want to paste, uh, paste the command rather than just um, run it because now I can just save all this stuff and then I can go in here and change things that make sense. For example, here I can see this is the minimum is 1972, maximum 2008. If, if I was, that was wrong, I realized that was wrong or something, I could go back and change that and then just rerun this and it would create the new chart. Once you have the chart, now I can copy and paste this you know, into a Word document um, if I want to.